never really against the regime because you know I'm well off I go to a good university I have education food everything but it seemed like wait a minute there's something that's not right and so went to protest on the 25th of January for the first time it was it was my first time to go down and protest outside the walls of um, my university uh, I was really scared and I didn't tell anyone I only told my best friend in England uh, and I didn't tell my family or anything uh, but then my mom kind of found out she's like where are you going and hearing about this you know revolution on Facebook and uh, she's like I think I know where you're going um, and I was like okay I, I don't think there's anything you can do to stop me now and she's like okay be careful I did not imagine that this is what I was getting myself into um, I basically everything was uh, everything was pretty calm at the Al Jazeera office I was there doing a very normal internship expecting to be shuffling through the factors that come to the office or something of the sort and, uh, and then all of this stuff happened and uh, I remember doing a few stories about Tunisia and whether this could be replicated in Egypt and going out and seeing people who were uh, I don't know maybe 20 or 30 people in front of the Tunisian embassy and thinking oh this is not gonna happen this is never going to pick up at this rate and uh, when everything actually did happen on the 25th I had been traveling and I had come back on the 24th specifically to see what was going to happen on the 25th and uh, when I saw it I couldn't believe it basically and I was in denial for the first couple of days definitely I kept uh, thinking that this was going to fizzle out and uh, turn into nothing the way protests normally do in Egypt and uh, but then gradually as things gained momentum I uh, I came to realize that this was something huge and that I was there witnessing it out of sheer luck out of just being at the right place at the right time basically and um, it was extremely intimidating for the first uh, for the first couple of days I had no idea what was going on I had never seen people basically act that way I've, all the rules had been thrown out the window I had no idea how to handle myself on the street whether the person that I was going to be speaking to was going to be aggressive towards journalists whether he was going to be willing to speak to us anything of the sort and at the same time I felt very much that um, that what I was doing was important on one hand, but on the other hand, I felt that the people that I was working with were here looking at this from an outsider's perspective. This is a story, it's another revolution, it's another downfall of another dictator in an Arab country, but when this is all said and done, everybody was going to pack their bags and leave, and I was sort of going to be left here to pick up the pieces. So there was definitely that conflict of me being an Egyptian, somebody who actually lives here and has to deal with the future of my country, I suppose, when everyone's gone, and then me being a journalist who has to objectively report on uh, on everything that's happening. So. I'm one of the people, actually, a lot of people uh, that have been involved from the beginning, you know, that haven't just um, started being active during the revolution, but I was one uh, of the people, of many people, in those social movements and in, in the opposition, or just activists or bloggers or journalists, who have been re really witnessing all the mobilization that has been happening over the past year, especially with the highest records of stands and protests and strikes. So I've always taken part in those uh, protests and strikes and stands, and even here in AUC with the worker strikes that we had in November. So, um, you know, I was always active and I was always involved and I was always doing that. However, during the revolution, all of a sudden, I became the face and, you know, or one of the faces or one of the spokespeople that always, you know, uh, were, on, were in the media and, and talking about the things and maybe because I'm a girl and maybe I understand a thing or two about what's going on and behind, uh, behind the scene and also uh, because I've been really, really involved in it from the start and even before it happened. Uh, and it feels definitely weird, but I, you know, not weird in the sense, I mean, it feels kind of, I feel blessed and, and humbled and lucky to have witnessed and taken part, but it's something that I've always done and I will continue to do whether there is, you know, media attention or not.